You're looking at one of the scenes in the Book of Unwritten Tales 2 we're working on at the moment. In the next vlog, I'd like to explain what goes into making a scene look just like this. This is the size of an average movie script. And this would be the size of the Book of Unwritten Tales 2 script if we would print it out. That's about a thousand pages that has to be written, translated, and recorded. Every location, character, and prop in the game has been described by our writers. Based on those descriptions, concept artist designs each and every item from the script. When it comes to location, it's not enough to make the scene look accurate and cool. We also have to be very careful about what is put into the location. If one of the puzzles is how to get up a cliff, we can't put any ropes, ladders, or any objects into the scene because that would ruin the puzzle. As soon as a location is designed, a 3D artist gets the concept art and the descriptions. They start building the scene from ground up. He or she takes basic shapes and turns them into objects in 3D space. They have to do that with every single object in the game. Nothing in the world of Unwritten Tales exists before a 3D designer does their magic. Depending on the complexity of the location, it can take up to two weeks to model the hundreds of objects needed to give the scene the dense details of the Book of Unwritten Tales look. We want to give the players the opportunity to discover many neat little details in each scene. Okay, now all objects have been modeled and are looking good, but they're also pretty gray. It's time to give them some materials. Materials define how the surface of an object looks and reacts to light. Wood has another texture and shininess that, for example, metal or stone doesn't. The goal isn't to make everything look real, and said it's about achieving the established Book of Unwritten Tales look and make sure all locations in the game match each other, even if they are from different artists. The last very important factor for the look of the game is the lighting. Our lighting artists place hundreds of lights into a scene to give each of them an atmosphere that supports the story and the characters in the scene. In the end, it's all about storytelling. And storytelling is not only words spoken by the characters. It's also visual storytelling as well. It's the stuff the rats find in the trash, a shoe for a bed, or a balloon for a water skin. And have you noticed the little glowworm on the swing in the bowl? He provides light for the rats because there seems to be something wrong with the light bulb. The next step in our production pipeline is giving the location a cool 3D look with technology called projection mapping. Luckily, we already made a video about that, and you can find a link in the description. Well, that's it for this episode. Next time we'll talk about the characters and the animations. Be sure to subscribe below. See you!